Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Freightmaster Resources. My name is Tim and you'll remember me from the previous videos as the man with a face meant only for radio. So uh, before we begin you'll have noticed that we have a new look. Um, if you guys like it uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know if you like it, you hate it, whatever, you're indifferent, okay? Um, so, and hit that subscribe button for me along with that notification so that you guys, uh, you know, get notified when, you know, when we do future videos, okay? Um, so, uh, today's video we're, topic, we're going to go over handling objections from uh, freight prospects, direct customers, okay? So, one of the biggest objections that I, or well, one of the most common questions that I hear uh, from new freight agents, new freight brokers, sub agents, uh, you know, getting into this is, you know, when they're cold calling, they've got their sales script or they've got, you know, their, their spiel kind of down pat, but they're not, they, they don't know how to handle objection, right? So, and one of those, one of the biggest objections that you're going to hear it, you know, they're, you're going to be asked, are you asset based? You know, and you, you're only as far as your script, you know, well, where, where does that leave you? Where do you go from there? Right? So just yesterday I, I made a sales call and, you know, I had done my research. I knew that I had, you know, trucks in the area. I knew what lanes they ran and things like this. And this is, again, I'm going to talk a little bit later on about why carrier relationships are so important. Okay. So I made the call, you know, uh, and when I got Tom on the phone, you know, I could almost hear the sigh, like the, in his voice, like, you know, and everything that he had gotten another call from a freight broker, right? He was probably already gotten several calls that day. And you have to remember that, you know, a lot of times these guys, they get, you know, 50 to 100 calls a day, you know, and he was kind of, you know, well, you know, I've got other brokers, you know, this and that and everything. And he says, but let me ask you, you know, are you asset based? And I said, Tom, I said, you know, let me ask you, you know, before I answer that, you know, cost is important, but also the value you get from the cost. Wouldn't you agree? You know, um, while we're not asset based, does the overall idea that we can be an asset by assuring that your freight will never be posted to a load board appeal to you? Okay. Now, what did I just do there? I've already assured him that I've got capacity, right? And that I'm going to be a valuable asset to him. I, I, I've proven my value to him by telling him that I, I, I know that I've done my research, right? That I, that I know where, where my trucks are. Okay. And that, here again, we Need, you know, carrier relationships are just as important as customer relationships, okay? So pay attention to that, guys, you know. Um, and we'll get into uh, kind of, you know, networking and building your, your carrier base, okay? You know, it, the whole idea is that it's all about long-term relationships, okay? You know, um, and, you know, you may even want to follow up with, you know, you know, if you're, you're still getting some hesitation from them, uh, you know, you, you might even want to say, you know, hey, you know, give me, give me a couple of your most difficult lanes for 30 days. Let me prove myself to you, you know, and then after 30 days, you know, if, if I have proven my value to you, you'll, you agree to open up a, a couple more lanes to me. Okay. Well, now you, you know, if after 30 days you've done your job, You've got more freight, right? You, you, which is going to, in turn, bring you know, help you financially, right? So it, it's all kind of goes hand in hand. So you know, if if again, if you if you don't if you don't have a, a good carrier network right now, um, don't don't lose hope. <laughs> okay, um, we're we're going to jump into that right now. Okay, so. Uh, go into your DAT, um, and again, if you guys don't have DAT yet, oh, you got to get it. Huge, valuable resource for you, okay? I'm going to drop the promo link down below for, the, for your first 15 days free, okay? Um, it'll be down in the description, so check that out. 
um, but every DAT account comes with the directory. Okay, if you guys aren't familiar with this or, or looked at it, or maybe recently got it or you don't have it, either way, um, go ahead and click on that because it'll be on your home screen. Go ahead and click on that and that's going to pop up uh, another window there for you. Um, and you're going to click on research new business partners. Okay, so, excuse me, let me get some of this out of the way here. Uh, so, you're going to go ahead, click on this drop down menu, you know, go to carrier and maybe you're prospecting in Arizona, okay? So click on Arizona, hit search, 500 matches returned, okay? And again, just like doing your research when prospecting uh, new customers, you're gonna use this to do some research when for prospecting, you know, capacity carriers, okay? So, you know, you're going to pull this up, um, you know, you're going to look at things. It looks like, okay, owner operator, uh, one power unit, one driver. So, um, looks like probably flatbed, judging by the uh, commodities that they haul right there. Kind of give you a, a rundown on their information and things like this. Uh, oh, no insurance certificate on file. Okay. So, let's click on another one here and check that out. Another owner operator, again, one truck, uh, A and B line, uh, two power units, three drivers, uh, A and D, let's see, one power unit, uh, three drivers, okay. Try to see if we can find one with a few more trucks here. There's two. No, not really showing. Okay. But anyway, you guys get the idea. There, there are going to be some some carriers in here with uh, with more trucks. But even if it's just a single owner op, um, I shouldn't say just. But even if it's an owner op, you know, call them. Get you know, network, build that relationship. Right. You know, find out what kind of lanes they're running. Uh, you know what their minimum rate per mile is, you know, all of these things, gather, compile that information, get them set up with you, okay? And and that will in turn kind of help you out in letting you know where to prospect, right? So, you know, um, because like let's, you know, or let's just say, you know, they, they, they run local or they run from here to, you know, from, uh, well, using this one, for instance, Abrams, uh, Buckeye, Arizona to uh, Nashville, okay? So, you know, you're going to be prospecting, you know, in in around in and around Buckeye, Arizona, and then in and around uh, Nashville, right? You're trying to put that dumbbell together, okay? And there again, you know, you're providing capacity at both ends, okay? And then, obviously, you know, letting your prospect know, you know, what lanes your trucks are running. Maybe maybe they don't care what lanes they're running as long as they're staying profitable, right? But all of that, it, again, is information that you can use to, you know, when you're prospecting to, to relay to your prospect that it will get your foot in the door, Okay. Another thing, guys, is, uh, you know, like I said, DAT has a wealth of information, okay? If you guys haven't seen this yet, um, there is a graphic here. It shows the 2019 top 10 freight markets, okay? And they've actually broken this down by equipment type. So depending upon what your niche is, if you have a niche, uh, which I suggest if you're brand new, um, we, we talked about that in previous videos. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check that out. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, like dry van, Atlanta, Georgia, Ontario, California, Dallas, etc. you know, you guys can read. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, and it's not gonna be just specific, but in that area, right? Those, those market areas. Okay. So around the, these metro areas, you know, all of those customers in there, those are, those are the top freight markets. Okay. So use all of that information when you're prospecting and you know, uh, 
building your carrier network, okay? And if you guys, uh, you know, are having trouble finding leads or not knowing where to go or just need additional leads, whatever the case may be, you know, if you guys haven't haven't gotten it yet, checked it out, uh, jump on over to the website there. Again, we've got, you know, the direct freight shipper leads. Uh, there's, I know it says 100,000 plus. There's literally like 120,000 plus, 121,000 plus uh, freight shipper leads on there. We did a previous video on that. Again, you can check that out. Obviously, we had to blur out some information there, but kind of showed you a little bit of what it's about. It's all broken down state by state, comes in a zip file. But again, on purchase, you guys are able to immediately download it so there's no waiting on it or anything. Okay, so... Uh, that's gonna kind of wrap it up for me, guys. Uh, again, check out check out the freight shipper leads. Uh, use your DAT directory. Uh, check out that graphic. I'm, I will drop the links down below for the promo code, okay, and to the website. <clears throat> and let us know what you think of the new look. You know, it, what, again, whether you like it or hate it or or whatever, okay. Uh, I wish you guys all luck. Uh, have a great successful week. I hope you land 10 new customers this week. Okay. And remember guys, be kind to one another. All right. We'll see you next time.